Vashon cakes are the Della freshly good ones that come in a variety of different tastes for a variety of different tastes. The Della freshly different ones. For snacks, for desserts, for people who won't swallow just anything. How about you? How about today? Pick up a family box of Vashon cakes. It could make the last time you ate someone else's cake the last time. The time is now. Right now. This is the hour. This is the new dawn. This is the new day. New day. New day. New day. New day.
Any measurable influence? 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 my parents they're not that way um, I don't hide anything from my parents they don't hide anything from me and we have a very good relationship we don't love each other but that's okay <laughs> you know the lack of love in the turbulent climate of the 60s combined with the sensational publicity caused by the drug and its easy availability have triggered the rampant psychedelic craze. Crazy. Thank you. 
psychedelic music reveals her rapturous LSD trips. It's really not. I mean, I came out of the shower jumping around telling everybody how groovy it was to take a shower. <laughs> and it was like, well, it was like being under a thunderstorm with great big drops of rain because you could really feel the water coming. And you could just, it almost felt, this is, this is weird, it almost felt like you could feel you were going, the water, you know, your whole body was just like, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Paul Evangel speaking to you from the terminal of life near the gate of death, where along with many others we will shortly be boarding the Interworld Airlines flight FINAL for the New Jerusalem. This is the very first time that anyone in broadcasting has been given the authority to actually witness and describe the flight of a departed soul and relay the information so that you can hear, experience and prepare yourself for this heavenly journey. The terminal is very crowded today, and we are told that this is not at all unusual, for eventually all people of all nations will pass through this point of separation. Let's listen to the dispatch.
This young man never had a bummer in some 33 LSD trips. Every one of them was a delight. Everything on the control. He needed only to snap his fingers, and down he came any time. But on Voyage 34, he finally met himself coming down an up staircase, and the encounter was crushing. Without the help to bail him out, he was caught up in a disorganized turmoil. In a hell, madness gone mad. This, then, is the bum trip. The final face-to-face -face meeting with oneself. With the whole choking mess of personal conflicts bursting forth. Brian had successfully slipped around them. This one started out no different than the rest. saying hi, she's saying, hi, I have something for you to do, so you don't say anything. Dear, is that you? She calls again. Yeah, you say quietly. Good. W will you give me a hand for a minute? The house needs dusting, the bathroom floor needs to be mopped. A minute? That would take the rest of the afternoon. So you decide to leave the house quietly. You need some time to uh, think. If your parents are getting to be too much, you've got to get this address. Way out. We'll send you a free fold-out, easy to be hard. Right way out. Ask for easy to be hard. Another public service message from Way Out. We care about your world.
Little by little, throughout the 20th century, all the conventional definitions of music have been exploded by the abundant activities of musicians themselves. Until finally, we reach a point where in electronic music, the hard-edged sound of the tone generator may be indistinguishable from the police siren or the electric toothbrush. Today, all sounds belong to a continuous field of possibilities lying within the comprehensive dominion of music. First they made St. Catherine's hungry, and then they made it famous. Know why? Because at Dominic's, every bowl of soup is homemade, every steak is fresh, never frozen, and every lobster is cooked the way lobster should be cooked. It's like poetry and cooking, cooking, cooking. which is a nighttime routine. Two, lubricating, also a nighttime routine. Three, stimulating, which is a daytime routine. Four, protecting, also a daytime routine. To help you understand these four basic steps, I'm going to ask Anne, here with me, to work out each step as I describe it. Anne is a girl, like many of you, who has a disturbed skin. We'll take her right through the proper routines to help correct blemishes that can spoil pretty young looks. Ready, Anne? Yes, ma'am. You can hardly wait to get rid of this tired old face. Man, in the way it breaks up just before a big dip. Well, sometimes lack of rest, nervous tension, or improper eating can contribute to skin troubles. But it's amazing, too, what ordinary neglect can do. You see, the first step toward a healthy, clear complexion is cleanliness. Not just soap and water, but deep pore cleansing that gets to the root of skin troubles. You teenagers or women with problem skin should never miss a night of using a good cleanser followed by a freshener, particularly when you use makeup. I haven't been using much makeup since I've had all these blemishes. And a good idea, too. However, to remove what little makeup you have on, I want you to smooth some of this special liquefying cleansing cream over your face and throat. Use this makeup mirror, Anne. It magnifies every pore. Oh, it's kind of frightening. Put such a help in skin care. No, Anne, don't rub your cream on. Smooth it on with an upward and outward motion. That's it. One, two. One, two. Here's a very charming and gracious lady. But just what makes her look that way? Might be her large teeth. It might be those interesting character lines around the nose. You may even notice that her eyebrows tend to depart from her eyes in a rather startling fashion. Whatever it is, make it vivid by exaggeration in your own mind. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Some of these contaminants we are finding more commonly. Well, the most common contaminants are strychnine and uh, dimethyltryptamine, stramonium atropine, uh, alkalines, because uh, what we find on the street is that uh, somebody comes along and says, We've got pure mescaline to sell. And uh, instead of being pure mescaline, we find it either to be ergot alkaloids or, uh, more specifically, a drug called fencyclidine, uh, intravenous anesthetic. These are the uh, things that are, you know, very, very dangerous, and uh, these are more minimal in treatment than uh, any adverse drug reactions to mescaline. Remember when the battle comes, it won't be fought in the streets. It'll be fought in your mind. I knew when I 
felt his lips on mine that there was no other man for me. What was this a man? He had waited over 200 years to possess her. Now she was his. But why did he want her? You'll know the frightening answer when you see the Playgirls and the Vampire. See five gorgeous Playgirls walk innocently into his arms. Only to meet the devil in the flesh. See the Playgirls and the Vampire. So bold it must be shown to adults only. 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 Great 
seducer of the human race. This is commencement day in hell. All the devils have gathered in the auditorium where the graduating class of young teens have just received their diploma. Satan is delivering commencement address. So you see, young devils, this is a critical period in our long and glorious history. Business is at its lowest ever. The only fun misery has is company, and we are running out of company. We'll be forced to shut down most of our furnaces. We face a long, cold winter, and if I may be permitted to coin a phrase, if there's anything worse than hot as hell, it's cold as hell. However... <laughs>
I was different from yours. Well, it's, it's not too much different in the style because I can play them all. Yeah, right. See? Yeah. And I told him half of what he know. So I'm going to have to get a Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> the style that he's playing is mine. So once he gets this style, I find me another. <laughs> I don't want to play like nobody else. You know? I want to play like me. Right. I don't think about the other stuff. Not in his music. Yeah. My music, I want my music to sound different from anybody's. Yeah. Because if I play like Sonny Boy, that's Sonny Boy's style, not mine. If I play like Lil Walter, that's Lil Walter's style. That don't belong to me. Let me play like this one. Yeah. Yeah.
but not wet, my tongue beckons him to my entering place. Lingeringly, I move down to his chest. My hands make a cave over one nipple. My tongue touches its red tip. I bare my teeth and pretend to bite.
Consciously try to place the tone into the head cavity.
play this record as frequently as possible. Then, as it becomes easier for you, play the record once a day or as needed. You want to join? No. No. I've decided to switch. What do you mean? I'm through with pot. Hey, what's happened to you? I'm into booze now. Booze? What for? Hey, it's legal. And it keeps my parents off my back. I don't think there's any difference. Who are you? I am the great brain. Oh, really? And I don't like to be put half asleep by anything. Oh, come on. You can stand it. Look, a little vodka never hurt anyone. All alcohol hurts. It gradually destroys the cortex. Cells die. Cells die. Cells die. Would you like to know more about non-drinking as a lifestyle? Then write for the free fold-out called Puff and Juice. It's free. The address? Way out. In the darkness of my empty cage, a being from Venus speaks to me, to me, to me, to me. Tail Brunette was asked whether she had sex had under sex LSD. In her course. No, I wouldn't want to. I really wouldn't. Yeah. You can you can be with somebody you like to be with and just touch their cheek or hold their hand and it's the most beautiful thing in the world. You don't need sex under LSD. You don't have to you don't have to do that. It's, it's, I, w- I really think it's just I don't know, it's a weird trip. It's a weird trip. Because, because you're so satisfied just holding hands that going, going for more than, than that isn't beautiful anymore. The sexual element is discreetly downgraded among the pariahs of LSD in Emporia like the psychedelic bookshop in San Francisco, which purveys LSD guidebooks, quarterlies, lecture courses, and they film the music while avoiding more prurient universal
think that I've come here tonight just to put on a show? No. Somebody said, well, because you're getting paid for it. No. I'm here, I could say, for many reasons. Like uh, girls, uh, Art Linkletter's daughter. She dropped a few tabs and then got on a bump trip, wrote her father, Arthur, and said, Arthur, I'm never going to do drugs again. But it was already too late. A little chemical lodged in her brain and began eating its way through a little brain tissue. It hit a nerve cell. 